Is it possible to get astro images like this? With one of these? Well, with the help of this, you certainly can. So you have a phone. You know how to use the phone and everything on it. But have you ever tried to take photos of space, especially deep space objects with it? It's been a problem, hasn't it? You just can't do it. So how can we, using our phone, take fantastic images of what's up there? Well, we're gonna use this little device here, this tiny little telescope called the Dwarf 2, made by Dwarf Labs. This is controlled with this. A device you know very well, and software on it, the Dwarf 2 Telescope app. It's incredibly easy and intuitive to use. And with it, and this little thing here, you can track all night long, you can take long exposures, you can take multiple images, stack them together to get even better quality images, all controlled on your phone. This is fantastic. Now, let me show you how we go about it, and I'll show you the process from start to finish. Once we've enabled Bluetooth and Wi-Fi on our phone and launched the app, all we have to do is connect the Dwarf 2 telescope to the phone using the app. Once it's connected, that will launch our primary user interface, which we can see here now. The movement and orientation of the Dwarf 2 telescope, as you can see here, is controlled using the on-screen joystick. We have a telephoto and a widescreen lens here we're using the widescreen lens to center the object and then we can see using the telephoto lens and the autofocus feature we are able to focus in nicely on our selected target. Okay, now you've had a little overview of what the Dwarf 2 telescope's all about. Let's have a look at it for what we're using it for which is astrophotography. Now it's very simple to use and get those first great images with the Dwarf 2 telescope. Four steps we are going to Focus the Dwarf 2 Telescope, when they calibrate the Dwarf 2 Telescope so it knows where it is in space and it knows where it's looking. We'll then go to an object that we want to shoot and then as simple as that, we'll set up how we're going to shoot and we'll shoot our target. Let's get outside now, it's nice and dark and use the Dwarf 2 with our phone and capture our first great image using the Dwarf 2 Telescope. Let's go. Right, the Dwarf 2 is set up, it's on its tripod and connected to the app. We've manually moved it to a bright star. Uh, you could also use the on-screen joypad to do that. And we push the auto-focus button. What we can see now is the Dwarf 2 is auto-focusing in on that bright star. And you see it's done a lovely job and we can see the fainter stars nice and sharp so we know the telescope is absolutely in focus. It's as easy as that. Okay, now that's done, let's push features and calibration. What this will do is calibrate the Dwarf 2 telescope. It'll take three images and it'll plate solve on each image. Basically what that means is it will take a photo of the night sky and we create a map so it knows where it's looking. Okay, that's that done nicely now and we're ready for the next step. Within features, we go to the auto go to and the catalog and we see you can scroll down to different preloaded objects and we're choosing M31 the Andromeda Galaxy target to image once you select that you will see the dwarf 2 pans directly to it and locks in on the image here you can see I'm adjusting the exposure a little Bring it out so I can see it better before I start actually imaging. Now we have our target selected. Shooting the image could not be easier. Then features, we select more and we will choose the number of exposure we're going to take. Your exposure length and the gain that you want to use and press shoot. And as you can see now, that has started shooting our image. What I've done here is I've sped this up, of course, quite considerably. 
so that you'll not be around for the next four hours watching this. So what we can see is a stacked live view. Each image is taken and stacked. The intelligent AI within the software stacks it bringing out the best quality of image with the least amount of noise from the background to the foreground image to give you the best contrast and the best looking image it can with the settings you've chosen and the number of exposures. This is a fantastic little telescope and you can see here the final image that I'm showing that was taken with the Dwarf 2. Okay, so some final thoughts. This Dwarf 2 telescope solves a problem. If you're looking to get into astrophotography, perhaps for the first time, and you've been told that your phone can do it by itself, well yes, can you take images of the night sky? Of course you can. You can point any camera up and take a photo. But will you get the quality and the image resolution that you can get when you're using something like a smart telescope in conjunction with your smartphone? The answer is simply no. If you want to take some great imagery of the night sky, you really need a great imaging device to go along with your phone. And this Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope is certainly that. Now there is a link below to this um, telescope if you'd like to go online and buy it for yourself. Hopefully you found this video useful and entertaining, perhaps educational, and if you have, I'd really appreciate it if you would go down, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and like this video. It will really help the YouTube algorithm show my video to more people who may find this useful. And please leave your comments below. And remember to look up, because you just don't know what you might see. Take care, thanks very much, and I'll catch you in the next one.